Okay, Rosalie, why don't we start with you saying your name? Thank you. I'm Rosalie Day White. Painter. Welcome. Thank you, Ted. Sure. Thank you for having um, me on. Sure. So tell me, uh, Rosalie, what is your favorite media to paint in? I think oil oil painting, though I like watercolor. Acrylic, not so much. Uh -huh. The paint's too flat, I think. And but the but oil is really yeah. dirty working. I would think it'd be a big difference between oil and watercolor in terms of the technique. Very, very big difference. In and you like both, which is interesting. I, I do very much so because they are so different. And I tell students, do not take watercolor is your first class paint yeah because yeah <laughs> you have to think it work in reverse you can always get darker by checking right. get lighter <laughs> and with oil you can add whites if you need to or or make things lighter and you can scrub it away and paint some more but with watercolor what goes down stays down right Right. I'm so glad I took oil painting from you rather than watercolor. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. <laughs> so I want to talk to you about your piece for the art auction, um, Holland's Mill Bridge. And uh, one thing in your statement you said is that you decided to paint the bridge because most people look at the dam. And before I read your statement, I was thinking the same thing that, you know, you see lots of images of the dam and the waterfall but I don't think I've ever seen anybody paint the bridge. So talk about why you decided to do that. And, and I did that because people, people, I think, in looking at anything, sometimes they miss things because they just assume either, oh, it's boring or it's not, you know, we know what that is. And the, the dam, the waterfall there is what it's supposed to be, but you, one had to get to that. And, the light, the sunlight later in the day, hitting that bridge with the, the path that they've built running through it and the water trickling over that. And I, then the dark woods behind and this one light pole that just stands out amazing <laughs> in, in with the darkness of the trees. And I thought, why don't people notice and talk about that? They, they, someone needs to show them it can be just as beautiful as, and powerful as the waterfall itself. Yes. And so that's why I wanted to paint that. And well, they, people looked at me rather strange. They'd come down and they they look <laughs> around and they'd go, what are you painting? As if <laughs> they, uh, well, it's the bridge. <laughs> why aren't you painting the waterfall? And I'd go, because it's the bridge, the bridge I want to paint. <laughs> it, 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 it created quite a few interesting conversations painting down there. I'm sure. But I think it's a, a great example how you have the artist's eye. You see beauty in things that maybe not every person does. And, uh, and it, I do. I think it's, that to me is what's so powerful is, is being able to see those things. Yeah. yeah that's, that's awesome. So um, why did you decide to um, participate in the art auction? Oh, because I believe in the academy very much, and and it, it's my way. In years past, I've also is to try to keep it going and to have expose people to art and not just to music and theater. But there's a visual art out there too that I think sometimes people forget, and yeah. they they go for the the drama of the theater or the music, and yet. I don't think they feel comfortable looking at things and understanding them because they, right. they have to understand them. And I don't think one has to understand a painting to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And I think they need more education in going in and not being afraid to stand in front of a painting and go, what is that? Or why those colors or mm -hmm. anything along those lines. Yeah. And that's well, why I believe in the Academy and I want to keep it going. Well, we appreciate you participating. And for those who don't know, you've been teaching for how long have you been teaching at the Academy? Over 20 some years. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was when back at the old fine arts and the old over right. oh, where the hospital is now. Um, and I just like <laughs> like teaching. Unfortunately, right now, due to a little tiny pandemic, <laughs> cut into my teaching right now. Otherwise, right. I'll be back teaching again. Well. We appreciate the long service that you've given to the Academy, and you've really spoken to my last question about what the Academy means to you as you were talking about those things. So um, I'm really grateful for, for your participation in this auction and that you that you have this relationship over 20 years with the Academy. So am I very much so. I, I feel actually a part, of, a real part of it, invested it in me and me in it. <laughs> so. Well, thank you, Rosalie. It's been a, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, Ted. I enjoyed it.